Hey guys, Graham from Armagillo, and uh, today I want to show you how to correctly wear your Armagillo headband. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of pictures on the field, uh, look great, but uh, there's a couple tweaks you can make to, to give you that perfect uh, poster look that uh, we advertise. So, I got here today the 2015 red Armagillo Elite headband with a Voodoo Mesh and a 3D Mesh insert. Um, I put the 3D Mesh insert on the outside so you can better see the the uh, the folds and the, the curves. Uh, this is step one, how you would put on your headband. Lean forward, have the dreads folding away from you, hanging down so they're out of the way. Tie it around the head. Now I'd suggest tying it a little snugger than you normally would because as you play it's going to break in a little and, uh, and probably loosen. Then with two hands, bring the dreads over top. Make sure they don't fall to the side so they don't open the spot behind your head. Now at this point, your, your headband should be right around your eyebrows. Put it a little lower than you normally would um, because you can always shift it up if you need to. Now, what I see sometimes happening is this. So you'll have this ridge on the edge of your, of your headband. And what that's caused from is, is when the dreads are hanging over forward, or if uh, your headband is tied on too loose, they may pull the back of the headband up and push the front of the headband down, and that creates this, this divot. So what I'd suggest is taking your, your uh, fingers, pushing them onto the dreads, and then taking your index and thumb and pull up at the same time on both corners, center, and that will give you this nice, smooth look that we have on all of our posters. Now at this point it's probably a good time as well to check that you have it centered. It's very easy now with the with the new uh, decal or the new uh, emblem to just line it up with your nose so you know that it's centered. Again make sure that it's at your eyebrows and it hasn't shifted up. Now you may have this happening where we call it the ears. What I suggest doing is before you put on your mask right at this stage run your hands over the dreads almost like long hair if you pull them back it's going to soften everything out and then you're going to have the smooth look the ears are already gone at this point you're ready to put on your your mask so make sure everything's snug nothing's falling to the side tilt your head slightly back so keep everything in place take your headband put your two thumbs on the straps Stretch it like that. I usually start from the chin, move it over, but uh, as long as you, you're sliding it back over the headband and not pulling the dreads forward, you're going to be fine. So at this stage, you want to make sure that the headband, or that the uh, mask is sitting on the headband and not on your skin directly. This will hold the headband in place. You can also run your hands over the dreads one more time, making sure that they're tucked into the strap. You just run over the top and that will allow you to feel whether you have anything sticking up. And once you've got that all snug in there, you can give them a little tug on the back. Just bring every last piece down, pull it around, and you're good. Nice and easy. Now if you want to take uh, your mask off on the, in the rest area but you don't want to do this whole process again, just pull it away from your face, tilt it up, and you're good. You can walk around the field, uh, walk around the safe area, not the field, and you're good. And then if you want to put it back, pull it away and bring it back in. So I'm going to emphasize that a little bit. Pull it away and bring it in. If you pull it straight over top, you may have it pulling the dreads forward and then you're going to get those ears or, uh, or possibly pull the headband down again. But as you can see, even with all this moving around and showing you the wrong things to do, my headband's still smooth in place, no more divot once you pull the front end up. So just remember to do that before you hit the field and you're going to be looking good.